Hi, this is this week's Astro Tarot. The first card that we have for today is the Wheel of Fortune, which is a card signifying big changes. We also, this week, have Jupiter, which is in conjunction with the Sun. It's going to be in opposition to the Moon, hence a full Moon with the Sun and the Moon in opposition. But with the Jupiter and Sun in conjunction there, it's going to be a great expansive energy, which will be uh, evolutionary in aspect to our being as far as how we want to grow and what we need to let go of in our lives. It's a card of help. This card is connected to Jupiter, which is why I bring up Jupiter and what's happening this week as we approach the full moon. And so look for areas in your life that you feel the need and desire to expand, whether it is, you know, setting things in order, like new practices, new skills, new projects. Um, there's something that literally it's like if you if you consider what it feels like to go out into the warm sun and then that energy that swells up inside of you expanding, that's the energy of Jupiter and the sun in conjunction. And at the same time, we have the moon, which is going to be on the other side, you know, in opposition, which is basically in full moons, we see light, right? We can see more and we can, because more of the sun's light is reflected on the surface of the moon, being that it's in oppos opposition to the sun. So there will be something that is revealed to us and some knowing as far as where we need to go in the direction of our lives this week. The second card that we have for today is the Page of Cups. So this is also telling us of a doorway of sorts that is opening in our emotional nature. It's a doorway to some new beginning. Um, and when you walk through that doorway, you start new things and you put your energy towards new things and you have a focused, uh, you know, focal point on what you're doing rather than where you just came from. So this new doorway is opening to our emotional selves because it is a cup card. It also is uh, bringing in the energy of Pisces. And so this can be a, you know, a note that someone who is Piscean in nature uh, can come into your life and have an interaction with you this week and show up this week. Or also that something karmic in way of relationship could show up this week because Pisces is a sign that is related to karma. The third card that we have for today is the Queen of Swords and this is a relationship ruled card. It's a uh, energetic that is welcoming in opening conversation and opening exchange with someone and having a balance in that exchange because it is a Libra ruled energy. But this is this energy in ourselves around relationship and what we're open to bringing into our lives. And so consider that when we do embark in new projects and new changes happen, shifts that happen can allow for opportunities to come into our lives that wouldn't have been there without those shifts. So many times we get our greatest help through change and th through that change doorways open for us to experience something different than we had ever anticipated or expected because we didn't really know how our wish was going to show up. So if there's something that shows up, this is a week of opportunity and to embrace that and step into that with yourself because it will begin a new journey that will be worthwhile. I send you a lot of love today and I hope you have a great week. I will be posting a new moon specific video on my YouTube channel. So if you are interested in that, look forward to it in the coming days. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.